Oh my god, those are so I feel like cute. I feel the ears. They're really, really? Cute. Yeah. They've got some new scrubs. Let's go check them out. It smells so good. Even I know. Like a foot back, you can smell it. The bath bombs here in the front. I don't know where they would be, so we might have to do a little perusing, which isn't bad. I feel like they might be. Hmm. You might have to ask somebody. Oh, sugar scrubs. I bet it's over here. Let's check that. Look at the fun little soaps. It's perfect for flower and garden. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's jasmine, rose, orchid, and freesia. What these ones like these gel soaps? I don't smell them. No, as much. Like, they probably very, have to be wet. Oh, here, they're there. Sugar whip scrub. Ooh. Hi, good. How are you? How cute. Yes, we have the three different types. Um, and then this red on top of them, they're going to be like little Cute. These are precious. The one I showed you first was the unicorn sugar whip. This one is the fruity sugar whip. And then this one is the mermaid sugar whip. They don't look so pretty, the testers, but I'm not Yeah, I mean, makes sense. How do they smell, Mama? I don't know that they would have much of a scent, honestly. Oh, it does. It smells exactly like Fruit Loops. That's a trip. <laughs> and this one is the unicorn. Um, maybe vanilla ice cream. Yeah, I'm getting maybe a little dreamsicle too, like a little orange. This one I don't know what it smells like. Hmm. I don't know what that one smells like either. Like, maybe is it supposed to be like seaweedy? Like, kind of like, to me it smells almost like marine, like salt and seaweed and sunscreen and. Uh, these are super cute too, though. Look, they've got Easter egg bath bombs, and they also have these little pre-made sets that are three egg bath bombs and a slice of the soap. These are precious, but the bath bombs are three for fifteen or five ninety nine each. And then they've got several different colors, so you can just if you want to get individual ones, they've got bags, and you can kind of pick your own. Um, that smells good. Yeah, it's really cute. Ooh, it does smell good. I you know, kind of smell chalky. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so that smells like oceany to me too. Yeah. And that one just smells very girly, very floral. Yes. So I like that one. Woo! <laughs> All right. So this is the instructions. Dime size amount. Scrub it for 30 seconds and rinse and dry. I think I'm gonna do the fruity one just because. This one, we kind of immediately knew what the smell was. The other two, we weren't really sure. So I want to do something that's recognizable. Um, so I'm just going to grab a... It says a dime size amount. This is definitely bigger than a dime. Maybe like, is that too much? Probably. Scrub for 30 seconds. All right. Now, what I will say is I can't tell you how many people we've come in and seen eat this stuff. Yeah, don't eat it. <laughs> don't eat it. You're not supposed don't to eat it. it. And kids are not supposed to be trying yeah. this stuff. It is for it adults actually, only. I think it actually says it, that um, kids have to be occupied by an adult. They can't be like running around because they will. They, it smells good and they'll put it in their mouth. Um, but I've seen a, I've seen a hundred adults try to eat it yeah. too. I don't know what's going on. I with mean, that. it smells like cereal. It smells really good. I don't. I mean, not I don't this know one why. particularly, but I'm just saying. Yeah. These are not I'm edible. Um, you can kind of see it did melt into my hand. You can kind of see the sugar grains Ooh, on my I hand still. It. it smells really good. Here, I'm gonna go wash my hands. See? Case in point, not for kids. Oh, so see, they've got them up here too, Mom, that are already, um, you know, packaged. Oh my gosh, my hands are so smooth. 
I love these sugar scrubs because they do make your hands feel lovely. They have a big display of all the different scrubs up here. Well, so the big body ones are two for 60 or 35 each because they're huge. Um, Those are big. Yeah. Two for 60 or 35 each. I need to get a lotion tester to finish my finish my uh, production here. My hands are smooth though. I'm going to touch you <laughs> so you can touch my hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go get some lotion to finish the experience. Okay, these are weird because they are like cellophane wrapped plastic. Yeah, I heard they were plastic. They're different from But that makes other sense ears. because it's a lollipop. It's not supposed to be soft fabric. Those are, I think they're really cute. And they're definitely a lot more pastel in person. I thought they would be maybe more bright, I like the, the rainbow candy. ears. But I think those this are really sweet. Mush. That's just really cute. All so, right, I think I might need those. Um, they're $27.99, yeah. I'm gonna try mine because I want to use. And then they do have um, the donut. E oh my gosh. Um, those are precious. Mom, there's a mirror over there. Oh my god, those are so I feel like cute. I feel the ears. They're really cute. Yeah. <laughs> They're really cute. Um, and they do have the donut ones too, which I still really want to get. Okay, those are cute, right? Um, and then they do have the castle. I know those are newer. These were just released for spring, so these are newer as well. I mean, Disney is cranking these out, which is really smart um, because I think it offers, you know, one a variety obviously for people who are wanting to, some, you know, pick something that they really go, you know, kind of vibe with, like a pink is your thing or whatever. But then also for the people who live here or locals and are here all the time, people it's like fun to have. Who needs like me, one pair for every day of the month. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go check out the dresses. Oh, sorry, I lied. Before we go to the dresses, we're gonna check out this 90s collection that released maybe a week or two ago. Um, 90s are very in right now, which is just funny to me. This top is $34.99. It is a tank that features the birds from Cinderella. And oh, okay, the bottom's cute. It has the mice. So it's got Jacques, Gus Gus, and I don't remember her name. Um, it's like Sally or something. This is kind of a thin yeah, it's white thin. shirt. I think you would need to wear something. I mean, I feel like you can there. see my hand. Yeah, it's thin. Um, That's really cute. But it's cute, actually. I don't love trim like that, usually. Um, it's like the basketball jersey trim. Yeah, definitely. That's exactly. It looks very sporty, but that's still really cute. Then they have this one that has Figaro and Cleo on a red and striped sailor top. $44.99. And the little side ties are sweet. Yeah, that's very sailory. Oh my gosh, this fanny pack. <laughs> I think fanny packs are really They're the thing super right in, yeah, 45. 45. Your friend Amber was just wearing one at Disneyland. Um, and then here's the... Oh, so it's my lounge fly. Oh, I actually really like the material. That feels like that material that water would wick off of. Yeah, that means you can take this on a Splash Mountain and not be afraid that your items are going to get damaged. They also do have the models holding the Figaro cat bag, and his face is furry, which is funny. And he is 65, so I imagine that's Loungefly as well. It is pretty sizable. I mean, you definitely, I think, could fit a phone and keys in there, at least. Car some cards. So this is like a little crop sweater, a sweatshirt. Yeah. $49.99. Got blue. It's blue. And that's the scene where, I think that's the bare necessity scene. Oh, the back is cute. Oh, and it has Ka oh, up the arm. Really oh, look at his cool bugged out eyes because they do that in the movie. He's like, ooh. <laughs> that's cute. Um, it is a vibe, that's for sure. So here's the pants. Now, see, I don't think that that goes with, though, because that's Marie. But it is kind of within that same color palette. Yeah, definitely. So These they are have comfy, though. These Marie's are like eyes. Pants. Those up are here 99 on the left high left panel this of the leg probably and on the bottom right you can see the, oh sorry you can't see because i'm folding it you can see the full murray okay this is probably my favorite lounge fly ever i i mean look at these fun tabs how cute this is here's the back <laughs> dalmatians are really sweet um, and this isn't the normal no yeah material. it is so the gray part is almost like a fabric but then it's like the 
Dalmatians themselves are kind of ironed on. They almost feel like a sticker. They do. Um, I love these luggage tag poles. Okay. Those are so stinking cute. It's a very square pocket. It's oh, fun lining. Cute. Oh my gosh, that is super, super, super cute. I bet Probably. it's the same. Yeah. Yep. So sweet. Okay, because that these would look 75. way cute, Mom, with that. I think that's supposed to be a tunic. Yeah. Maybe. Or is that a dress? Maybe it's a dress, but yes. Oh my gosh, is that cute? Yes. That looks short to be a dress. Yeah, that, I mean, what a sweet outfit. Here's the piping on the side. The piping on the side is just two colors. It's got Pongo and Perdita on the front. $44.99. And then it has the Dalmatians in front of the telephone booth, which is really cute. I think that'd be super cute with like some bike shorts. Black biker shorts, yeah. <laughs> You know, some of those tight kind of shorts. Yeah. Capris. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. And then this has Oliver from Oliver and Company, which you, again, don't see a lot, um, but very 90s. Always by your side. And then I don't know the name of this dog. And then they have Dodger on the other side. Possibly. There we go. There's Dodger. Why should I worry? Why should I care? Yeah, yeah. And then look behind you. So there's all that. And then we've got more on this side. Um, so here's the dress. But they have this fox and the hound. So I think those are, are meant yeah, to be same. up there. Somebody just got them down and yeah. then couldn't, wasn't Gentleman. tall enough to put them back. I hear that though. I'm a shorty, I get it. This is nice though. It, I think it's supposed to be, so is that a rain jacket or just like a windbreaker? I think it could, it's like windbreaker material. Again, fox and the hound, not a, um, not characters you see a lot, but I think that that's really unique that they're introducing more than just, you know, Mickey and Minnie. And that's not bad for a jacket. Yeah, it's not. So there's another one. Yeah. So then here's the dress. I'm working Oh, I'm sorry. I'm working here today. I mean, practically. I just feel like that's short, right? I mean, I guess not. No, that, I mean, that's... Oh, all right. Um, then they have this Robin Hood so which is this with Little John boy? and um, okay. is that Udugali or whatever the song he sings? No. Udugali Gali Day. All right, clearly I haven't seen that. One's thirty I'm sure all the oh and there's um what's his name? Oh yeah, see Udugali. I wasn't making it up. What is his name? King. I'm sure the people. Something. Yeah, they're all gonna be. Ma rapid fire comments you know, on my commentary. <laughs> You're doing it wrong. That was really cool. This is the back. So very cartoony. Yeah, definitely. It's all very. I mean, it, it is like it is a certain style. It is definitely a certain vibe. $49.99. It's cute. That is like the cartoons that you grew up with. Yeah, no, definitely. I I think my favorite out of all of it is the Dalmatian dress and the lounge fly. But they have, really like I said, I think this released maybe a week or two ago, and it seems like they still have quite a bit um, left, so that's good. We're heading into my favorite store. This is like my jam, you guys. This is where I hang out. <laughs> Casual. Oh, look, the cast member's wearing that. Yeah, she's smart. She knows what she's doing. So here is the one that I am the most excited for. Okay, what's interesting is, I'm wondering, is that the front or the back? That has to be the front. Oh, the front, look at this zip. That's interesting. Huh. Okay, I'm, I'm actually not loving that. I think it's cuter in pictures than it is in, in person. I gotta say. I mean, I'm still gonna try it on. Cause come on, look at Carl. Okay, look at the back. And Russell. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I do God. not like that zip front, but the back is cute. I gotta try that on. It's over there. Um, and then they have the snack dresses. So quite a few of those. The other one here is the Epcot one. Here is the Epcot. And this one's really cool because I don't know if it's actually showing on camera. The lighting in here is definitely um, interesting. The, the pieces of it are actually metallic, so it does have a shine to it, just like the real Epcot ball does. So I hope that that's kind of transferring on camera so you can see. This one also does come with a silver belt, which I like. That wasn't just something that they styled it with. You do actually get it as part of the dress, so that's really nice. This one's 128. 
And I don't know how much the up one is. I didn't. I just grabbed it. Okay, we'll figure it out. But it looks like they still have stock of all of the other dresses. We've got the mini Captain Marvels here. They still have the villains one from Halloween, Sally. Um, I mean, it looks like they still have pretty good stock. So if you've watched one of my older Dapper Day dress or the dress shop videos and you're wondering, you know, if they still have availability, we look, it looks pretty good. All right. This never happens we're where we walk in. I know. I think that's why mom was making a beeline because usually there's a, there's people in here trying on. Um, so there are dressing rooms over in Trendy if you need that and you don't have to wait in line, but um, they do have just one dressing room right yeah. here by the dress shop. Um, and I don't know if I've actually ever showed this. I'm just going to real quick before I turn it off so I can try these on. I think that this is so smart of them. Um, these are actually dress forms that they took and framed for the interior. I just think it looks really cool. So anyway. <laughs> this is an extra small. Um, I did notice that there's kind of some weird gapping here. And this happened to me in the Dumbo dress, which is unfortunately why I chose not to purchase that one. It's almost like I'm too short. Um, like I need to be taller or something to fill it out. And it's supposed the same all the way around. Um, but other than that, I think the dress fits beautifully. I do have the crinoline on underneath, so if you don't like that puffed out look, it would lay you know, more sleek um, if you did not have it underneath. It does come with a metallic belt, as I said, but overall I think it's really sweet. And this one you said was? That one's 128. 128, okay. So. I think it's really cute. It's just an, un it's an unfortunate that the back is uh, yeah. kind of but It is very little, um, so she has to try these on all the time because sometimes they fit perfectly and sometimes even the extra small is... But I, still, I, mean, I do think it's a little tight on the arm, so I don't, I mean, you know, that's why you have to try it on. Especially so, for $128. Yeah, so cute. I love this one. So one thing that is a design choice that mom pointed out um, and that I have an opinion on is the front zip. So traditionally with these Dapper Day dresses, it, I think I have one that actually has a zip on the side, but the majority of them are zipped at the back. She doesn't love this, however I will say dressing yourself, this is a lot uh, friendlier and user friendly um, because when I'm getting ready for work, if I'm wanting to wear my Dapper Day dresses to work. I most times can't if my mom or husband leave the house before me because I can't zip it up the back by myself. Where this one, I can unzip, get in, and zip up by myself. Um, so I guess maybe that's just a user error. I'm sure most people can zip up uh, the dress by themselves, but I can't. So I really enjoy that feature, actually. What I will say is the sleeve, the leaves, the leaves. The sleeves are looser, which is nice because I do feel like I have broader it shoulders. Does. It just fits um, you better. I think just, I don't know, the top fits you better. Yeah. And this it's is giving me very I Love Lucy vibes. Very it's really piece. cute on. I just don't like that I can see that zip top. Yeah. Um, see. And then I love that it has Carl on the bottom in the house, on the front, and the balloons go up, but then the back has Russell. I think he's on this side. Yeah. So cute. So I, I really love this one. And this one's 98. I didn't look. Hold up. Um, but Where, where's the tag? Uh, probably. Where am I? Uh, nope, it's 128 as well. Oh, interesting. Okay. I thought that was 128. So I think we need to hurry. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway. <gasps> I love it. <laughs>
sun has set on our shopping day. We're celebrating with our cupcakes at Paddlefish. We just came up to the third deck because the third deck has, there's a hair on my camera, I'm trying to get it, sorry. The third deck has open seating. So you can just come on up. You guys can see Planet Hollywood. There's Cirque du Soleil, Boathouse right there. So it's got a stunning view. And it does wrap all the way around so there's more seating and then that's the inside there. This is an awesome place to just come and hang out and have a drink. Yeah. And Coke. They have alcohol and popsicles here, which people love. But yeah. I'm just happy with my Diet Coke <laughs> and our cupcakes. Diet Coke! So let's dig into these bad boys. Mama, do you want to cut them? Yes. I love these peanuts. These little so circus delicious. peanuts. They're super cute. But so we're going to try this one first. This one's vanilla. I mean, I just don't think you can really mess up a cupcake, you know what I'm saying? You better not. I have faith. It's a Disney And then I, I did bring a, I mean, not bring a, I also got a fork. So if you want that. Lordy. Lordy, lordy. I already spilled um, on myself. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do that again. You want the one with the hat or the one with the feather? I'm sick of my fingers all on this one, so I'm gonna try this one. <laughs> I think you do that really smoothly. So the vanilla cake is actually a little drier oh. than I'm used to Disney cupcakes being. But it's a, it's a good sweet buttercream. It's delicious. Good. Alright, I'm going to eat this other half and then we'll break into the chocolate and then you can show me with the chocolate one. Okay. Another chocolate one? Yes. It's, I, I'm fairly certain it's peanut butter chocolate. Because the smell I'm getting is peanut butter. Mm. It's super cute. Mm, the cake is better. Um, we're going to be honest, because I believe in honesty. When I turned the camera off, Mom said that that was her least favorite vanilla cupcake. That's true. She said on property. I think just because the cake itself really didn't taste like anything. Yeah, it's boring. The buttercream was delicious, though. This one, the cake is much better. I can tell I can only have a couple bites of this though. It is so rich, so thick. I feel like our dog Eli when we put peanut butter in his tongue. Where I'm like smacking like, the peanut butter inside my mouth. Yeah. Um, ooh, I, I do smell, smell it. It smells like, like peanut buttery. Straight, yeah. It's real. I mean, it's good, but I'm going to be okay after another bite. I don't know if there's more peanut butter inside of the cake itself. It doesn't look like it. It's pretty dense. But, um, Ooh, I just got a big whiff of peanut butter. Is, I mean, if you have a peanut allergy, do not come near this cupcake. <laughs> yeah, I'm fairly certain that's not icing at all. I feel like that is whipped peanut butter. It could be peanut butter with um, powdered sugar in it. So, would you say get these cupcakes at Candy Cauldron, or do you like the resort cupcakes better? Resort cupcakes. Yeah. Well, that's an honest review. I mean, I'm... I'm they're so cute, and I'm so glad that we tried them because it's you know it's part of that experience down here at Disney Springs to come for us as locals, come for a few hours, have dinner, shopping, try the treats. I don't regret that we bought them at all, but if I had the money and wanted to get another treat, I would just pick something else. That's all. They don't are they're not horrible. I just pick something else next time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Basin and where's the other one we went to? Dress shop. Dress shop. We just go everywhere when we're down here. Um, if you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>